So I'm going to put in a game, um, which is a classic um, game, obviously, um, and it is FIFA 95. Um, not sure whether I've ever played this particular FIFA. Um, my copy here appears to be in mint condition. Um, probably because the game just sat in somebody's Mega Drive for like a whole year um, until the new FIFA came out and then they put that in instead and relegated this back to the box and completely abandoned it. So I hit record and uh, boot this up. Now the FIFA games um, for some reason um, are you know some of the most uh, popular games um, that I do gameplays on well the popular games obviously but what I mean is what I mean is fuck's sake I hate that I've, I've said this on videos before um, the, the volume differences between Mega Drive games I'll put one in and the volume is fine and then I'll put another in and you know it's trying to rip my eardrums to pieces um, so the music's not as funky as FIFA 96, but uh, let's see what options we've got. Oops, we've somehow start just ended up Liverpool versus Man U. Interesting. Um, well, difficulty doesn't seem too hard so far, anyway. So this for me was really the kind of, um, not, not definitive, I think that would be the wrong word, but the kind of game that really got FIFA, um, you know, popular. Um, I'm not sure, I don't think the first FIFA game had um, club teams national, uh, domestic side, sorry, and uh, I think that, that was why I'm thinking that. And basically the core of this game, oh somebody's got sent off in FIFA and it wasn't one of my players for once, awesome. I'm doing terrible today, I keep forgetting what I'm saying. And I go off on a tangent and then forget what I was saying and it's all fucking fucked up. One of the things I um sip the old coffee. One of the things that I really liked about FIFA um in these sixteen bit days um compared to other football games if you like was that you you had the control to basically change um, between players yourself um, so, sometimes when the computer does it automatically you'll just be um, about to tackle or something and then it'll switch to another player which is pretty annoying um, but you didn't have that problem in FIFA So it's, it's kind of, um, the way I'd describe this, because the, the game that I played the most in the FIFA series when I was younger was probably FIFA 96, and the way I'd describe this is that the core gameplay is the same, but FIFA 96 had bells and whistles on, i.e. had um, tricks and You know, when you score, I mean, I'm not, nobody's scored in this yet, but you could control uh, the crowd and things like that. Well, not the crowd, but the, the chants and sounds from the, uh, from the fans. But, as usual, I'm terrible at these 16-bit FIFA games when I put them in. Well, most football games, in fact. Um, but I'm not, I'm not bad at, uh, not that bad at football games. I'm all right at, oh, fuck's sake. So 
So A is the fucking story and then I end up pressing pause by mistake. I'm struggling to think of things to say about this game that have, hasn't been said um, when I've made videos of the other games in the series for the Mega Drive. Oh, look at that. Oh, what a chance. Come on. Come get the ball. Is that offside? Of course, back in these days, they didn't have all the uh, slick presentation. Well, I say slick presentation. I don't actually think that the presentation on uh, FIFA 13 is that great. Um, because I, I noticed the other day when I played it on my laptop that the badges, um, when you play it on, when you play the PC version, the badges are really low resolution for the different clubs, etc. Um, but yeah, obviously, back in these days, you didn't get such luxuries as a, uh, a badge for your team. So, you just got a coloured bar with the uh, colour of your strip. There's only basic strip variations as well, if I remember correctly. There weren't any... Um, yeah, you know, I can remember um, Derby County had uh, quite an intricate kit in 1996 and uh, FIFA 96 just had a basic you know white top black shorts you know, that was pretty much the closest you ever got to them. I was saying that actually Derby weren't in FIFA 96 because they weren't in the Premier League. See that's another thing that you don't get in these early FIFA games you just don't get the, the content and the lower divisions. Sound isn't bad, it um, can get a bit monotonous. Um, I remember a lot of these 16 bit titles when I used to play them, I used to put um, music on in the background while I was playing. Um, something you don't really need to do nowadays um, because this, the sound's much improved. You know, you play um, current football games, you know, it's almost like watching a match on Sky Sports. Oh, for fuck's sake. You can see there the four-way play symbol. Um, it reminds me, obviously, if you had the multi-tap, could have like multiplayer, you can say on the back, a uh, four way play series. So I don't know if that means you could have five people playing, or did it use, it probably used both the controller ports to uh, attach the four, the four extra ones on. I know what I mean. Uh, come on. Get a fucking goal back. Oh, for fuck's sake, that was a fucking scream. Yeah, Panasonic, great. M Webster. I can't fucking remember. Back in them days, don't be fucking silly. Can I score from here? Oh, no. In these early FIFA games as well, yeah, they didn't have, have the accelerated time clock. So as you can see, the clock is literally counting down um, or counting towards um, how long the half is rather than being an uh, accelerated time kind of version of a 90 minute clock. Ah, you bastard. 
not doing well at all on this uh, today. Can't even blame it on a dodgy controller because the controller's working flawlessly. Ah. I do take a bit of uh, time to get into these 16 bit football games when I've not played them for a while. Especially with FIFA, there were certain um, areas on the pitch where if you shot from them you'd just shoot every t you'd shoot, you'd score every time, so losing, lost 2-0, not done too badly I suppose, um, but yeah, that's FIFA Soccer 95, for me that was when the series really started to gather uh, momentum, it's very cheap, so if you're a fan of the FIFA series then um, I'd definitely pick it up if I were you.